Are you looking for exposure to different cultures and countries? Reading books remains the cheapest and one of the most effective ways to do that. Moreover, developing reading habits that are less insular and exploring literature from different countries can help you learn and explore different cultures, widen your horizons and oftentimes give you very interesting points to impress your friends and family. That's fine, but why German literature? Well, I think German literature is one of the most impactful literatures in the whole world. Do you know the Brothers Grimm? No? Well, you must be aware of the famous Disney movies or the fairy tales you heard during your childhood like Cinderella, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, Sleeping Beauty and so on. You recognize these stories, right? All these are actually German folk tales, first collected and published by these two brothers, Jakob and Wilhelm, often known as Brothers Grimm. Yes, all these popular stories are actual German folklore. German literature has many great authors and pieces of works that have touched you in some way already. Even Kafka, though he was born in Prague, now Czech Republic, wrote most of his works in German. Did you know this? Kafka's work, even 100 years after his death, is considered modern and contemporary and is so relevant in our time. And currently, German literature is evolving with even more contemporary fiction works ready to be explored by a reader like you. So in this video, I'm going to discuss where you can start reading German literature and some popular works and authors that are ideal for the beginners. And also, I'll reveal how you can find the English translations of some of the best German novels in India and sometimes even for free. Yes, there's a really cool resource that allows you to download and read German books in English all for free. Keep watching this video to know more about it. This video is brought to you in collaboration with Goethe Institute, Max Malabhavan, New Delhi. Now, how can you get started with reading German literature? Well, this video is all about that. I'm going to give you a few very interesting books written in German with their translated versions available in English. Now, some of these are by German writers and some are by Austrian and Swiss writers who write books in German language. And no, please don't start with classics, at least not the complex ones. Anytime you want to read literature you're not familiar with, picking up complex classics can be a big mistake. Why? Because these are not only complicated, but are also difficult to read because of the old language used. Trust me, I learned it the hard way. Starting with the most nuanced and complex work will make it very difficult for you to understand the culture, the style and just the overall vibe and beauty of the works. As a beginner, this unfamiliarity will most likely put you off and what you really need is to tiptoe into absorbing the new world that's about to open up for you. To start, pick up some children's books followed by some short stories and then some modern contemporary literature that speaks of the world of today. Don't worry, I'll talk about these books in this video. Once you have read a couple of these books, pick up more complex works and indulge in those must-read classics, okay? Now, starting off with children's novels, one of the shortest and most popular children's stories in German literature is a book about a little bear and a tiger. One day, they find a crate with the name Panama written on it and they decide Panama must be the land of their dreams and set off on a quest to find this. It's a tale that teaches you to appreciate what you have in your life. The English translation of this book is called The Trip to Panama, which has been written and illustrated by Janos and the original German version was first published in 1978. It's just about 48 pages long and is available as a picture book on the free online library I'm going to introduce you to at the end of this video. If really short books are not for you, let me give you a fantastical tale that's super popular in German literature. It's an epic fantasy that has been translated to 36 languages and has sold more than 8 million copies worldwide. And the setup of this novel is so unique. It's basically a story within a story. It's about a boy who finds this strange book that takes him to this beautiful but doomed world of Fantastica. This world can be saved only by a human, but to do so, the human has to go through the lands of giants, dragons, monsters and face powerful magic. The book is called The Never-Ending Story by Michael Ender. Now, as I mentioned, 
In my opinion, both children's books and short story collections are a great way to start reading a new category of books. While you have plenty of really unique and creative children's novels in German literature, there are a lot of options for short story collections as well. I think the obvious pick is the Fairy Tales collection by Grimm Brothers. You can find several translated versions of these books published by various publishers. In fact, I'm myself a proud owner of a Kindle version of this book for over 3-4 years now. It's called the Complete Grimm's Fairy Tales and both Kindle and paperback versions are available on online shopping websites like Amazon, so you can check them out. From post-war German literature, The Radio Family by Ingeborg Bachmann really stands out. Ingeborg Bachmann is an Austrian writer who is actually recognized as one of the most important novelists, playwrights and poets of post-war German literature. So this is something you can check out. Moving on to some modern and contemporary books, I have been looking for some interesting finds to add to my own to-read list. And this particular one won the International Booker Prize this year. It's called Kai Ross by Jenny Alpenbeck. It's a novel about a relationship between a young student and a writer who is much older and speaks about the daily issues this couple faces in their lives. This love story evolved in the late 80s in Berlin in the tumult of the last years of the GDR and the fall of the Berlin Wall as well as the post-unification years until 1992. This historic background is very important for the story and contributes to one of the top reasons why the book received the prestigious Booker Prize. What makes this book, the author and even its translator special is that with the International Booker Prize bin, Erpenbeck has become the first German writer to win this prize. This award is given jointly to both the author and the translator. The translator of this book, Michael Hoffmann, became the first male translator to receive this award. So a major first, especially for the German literature scene. Another one I find really interesting is Monsters Like Us by Ulrike Almut Zandik. It's the debut novel of the author set in the last days of communist East Germany. These two friends, Ruth and Victor, have been together since childhood, but then they are forced to different ways. Ruth becomes a musician, whereas Victor chooses violence and a new Nazi gang. It's a coming-of-age novel put together with the backdrop of hidden violence in the present world. With this, you have six really interesting books you can start your journey to German literature with. And you know what? There's an online resource called From the German Bookshelves available on Goethe Institute's website where you can continue exploring German literature and learn more about the modern day authors and their greatest works. But are these books really available in India? How do you find the translated versions? I will give you two ways. One that you already know of, Amazon. There's an Indian publishing house by the name of Siegel Books that mainly produces translations with many German titles in stock. I list all of the translations supported by the Goethe Institute down below in the description. A lot of interesting books can be found in the catalog. To get started with buying any of these books, just go to Amazon.in, type in the German list Siegel Books and you will find plenty of options there. You can buy hardbacks, paperbacks and some ebooks. And the second way, this is how you can read a ton of German language books for free. Thanks to the Goethe Institute, you have an online library called OnLiar with thousands of German books, e-audios, e-magazines, e-videos and similar materials. There are close to 400 e-books available in English translated versions. You can easily sign up for free and download these books for free. And if you are in Delhi, you are in for another treat, especially if you love reading from the physical books. The Goethe Institute also has an amazing library in New Delhi which has over 1000 German titles translated into English. In fact, you can also see some hard to get titles here in this library. I will leave their address in the description. There you go. You have the free resource on Liar. You have the secret Amazon search hack as well as six really cool names to get started with. If you are ready to uplift your reading life and dive into some German literature today, check the link in the description to find these six books on Amazon and explore the Goethe Institute's free e-library on Liar.